Hello YouTube, and it's been a very long time since I've actually gone and had my voice up on one of my videos, but what I'd like to do today is go over some methods for leveling destroyers. Now, what you may have noticed the other day is that I posted a video going into map 7-1. Now, 7-1 is a very good map for leveling destroyers. It is, if we go and take a look here, uh, well, I'm not going to click into it, but it is a very submarine heavy map. Uh, very good for leveling destroyers. Now, the problem with that map and leveling destroyers there is that you have to send in, at minimum, I believe, a four destroyer, one light cruiser fleet. If you do anything else besides that, there is a chance that you could off route. Now, granted, I have not actually tried anything with less. However, due to the nature of the map and the amount of experience you get at each node, um, you don't actually get very much in terms of your base XP. It also costs a reasonable amount of uh, resource to go through that map. So you may end up spending a little more uh, than you're bargaining for in terms of your resources. Yes, Node K actually has a pretty decent uh, experience yield, but unfortunately it does take a little bit of pushing to get towards it. So what I'm going to do today instead is go to 4-5 and show you one possibility. This is the fleet for today, all of which are equipped for anti sub <laughs> and take it over to one of these uh, submarines that this map starts with. So this first branch, I do believe it's uh, completely random. Not sure there's really any way you can go through uh, a specific node A or C. Now both D and F here are submarine nodes. You can select either one, but I'm gonna go with F. As you can see, this is the first time I've actually run to this node. Normally I'd be just clearing this map. And we're gonna go anti sub formation. So pretty easy battle. And here is the XP uh, experience yield for this. Not too bad, about 500 XP per shot on this map. We're gonna go ahead and retreat. Now yes, this does cause some issues in terms of morale. But let's take a look at the amount of resources that we're actually spending to do this. Click through all four ships very quickly. Four fuel. Not very much at all. Now, that does make things very easy. And if we go ahead and cut our fleet back even more, pull Akizuki out very, uh, very quickly here. We'll go back in once more, and we'll see if this same idea works for even less ships. Now you could bring more. No matter what you do on 4-5, you're always going to hit one of these subnodes first, no matter what. It doesn't matter. This time we're going south to A. And I'm going to select node B as the one I want to go to. Once again, it's a submarine node. The reason I'm going with B and F is because I do believe they have a slightly higher yield. You could correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. It does 
was. We're pretty well. Of course, that means they're gonna be But if he isn't good. Okay, so this is going to be an A rank. Not gonna go for the night battle because submarines, of course, do not sink at night. Uh, when you have a normal day into night battle. Okay, so 420 XP, even on an A rank, there's not too much drop off. Okay. Gonna go ahead and retreat once again. So we now have some damage. Chips. Also have uh, Sammy P down there. An orange face. So let's see what the damage is in terms of repairs. Okay, a little bit more in the area of steel and fuel here. Not gonna burn a bucket, but that does go to show you that 4-5 is a fairly viable area to go and uh, level. Now, of course, it's not quite as good for a run in terms of the amount of EXP that you get from 7-1. But it is much quicker, and you do get the guarantee of hitting the sub nodes each time. And you, of course, do not have to actually send a full blown fleet out. You can, but it is not necessary. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm gonna try and put a few more guide type videos like this up because things have changed for phase two. Look forward to the quote unquote new oral video coming up at some point. And until next time, thank you very much for watching.